Welcome to Alaska Firewood People. It's 6.30 in the morning. It is beautiful out here. I have a plan for today. I'm going to make a few bucks selling some bears. Pocket bears. Alaska Firewood People. It's an eagle. I haven't been filming because I haven't had the time. But what I really want to be doing is running all over Alaska. That's all I want to do. Just be running around. Look at that. Someone killed a four-wheeler. Okay, I got the bears carved. Time to fire up this old Jenny and get them sanded. Oh yeah, and here's a little trick to keep your generator alive a little bit longer. See that tire? That's a shock absorber. Keeps it from wiggling apart. No excuses. This will fit in your suitcase, this will fit in your pocket, you can take it home. How much are they? 20 bucks. We got five of them, that'll do us right nice for today. 100 bucks, get some chicken food, get some gas, see some beautiful sights, and get back to the property. Pocket bears will also fit in a flat rate box at the post office. I think it's about $20 for anywhere in the United States. That's a good deal. Headphones. Listening to music. Doesn't matter if they're new or old. They come in real handy. Just cut the cords when they're busted, because they'll always break. Ear protection for chainsaws and firearms. Recycle. Cool thing about being a chainsaw carver, when you're cooking with wood, eating with wood, bathing with wood, at the end of the day, you're left with all this fuel. Being a wholesaler, you don't make a lot of money chainsaw carving but it is guaranteed work, and I'm cool with that. But today, $11 into 100. It's my day. Okay, now, we got this truck here, $500 special, my boy bought it, he's gonna let us use it. Water pump's messed up. I'm still gonna drive it. All I'm gonna do is add water to it. In summertime, I don't have to worry about freezing, but when winter time comes, I'm gonna have to drain it, fix the water pump, Put some antifreeze in it. You gotta make do with what you have. If things are easy, it wouldn't be fun. I just saw a grouse. Off to town we go, wish us luck. We love our old road. Not many people live back here. Pretty cool. Okay, we hit the main road. Beautiful out here. That big old house there was on Buying Alaska, believe it or not. Gotta stop and get some air in the tire. Routine. Blinkers don't work, gotta use a hand signal. There we go. Nice little RV park over there. I wonder if they want to buy some bears. Huh. Doggone it, there goes the heater core. 
We'll fix that when we get home. dangers. I was standing right there telling you to be careful because it's a complete drop off. Well we're getting closer to my goal of a guardrail. As you can see they've added a few hunks of cement there. There's a good reason for it and I'll show you. There's a fellow driving up Homer Hill at night coming right through here. Lost control of his vehicle. went over the edge right over there there was a guardrail here he smashed right through it yep that's straight down I could see the vehicle down there and this camera does not do this justice this is straight down. I don't dare get closer. I don't want to fall over the edge trying to show you this. I was reading in the Homer News, he might get a citation for leaving the scene of an accident. He should get an award for leaving this scene. show you around while I'm waiting. We like to plant vegetables and flowers and everything else up here for all the tourists to see. Quite nice. They have these billboards with all kinds of information from the past. It's pretty sweet. Looks like we got some folks over there looking at some bears. These guys are local guys, I recognize them. They're checking it out. And the top of this is pretty cool. Everyone likes to carve into it. It's pretty sweet over all the years. You know what's funny is, as long as I've lived here, I've never seen anyone actually carving on this. Beat up Ford. Yeah, we're local. Well, one's heading to Illinois so far. Four more to go. Got to get your picture taken by the sign. That's standard. Just got to be patient. There'll be another flock of them coming in. Someone else is looking at the bears. Here comes the next batch. Get a pocket bear. Come on. Got to sign him, so Mama's signing him. Well, 
Alaskan firewood people. Yes. All Th right. Thank you, brother. <laughs> You're from where? From Switzerland. Nice. Nice. Yeah. It's nice to meet yeah. you. My name's Ken. And my name is Paul. Okay, Paul. Yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> yep, you're a ray of light, I can tell. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 70 years old. Oh, my gosh. Or young, you can say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you look great, brother. Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> the beer is getting slowly into winter time. Yep. No, but the hair is still uh, yep. having, let's say, early autumn. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Okay, the car, how do you get over here? Iveco, an Italian brand. And it's the smallest uh, commercial car this company produced at that time, at 24 years ago. And um, when you put it on the rims, then it fits just in a overseas container. I'll be there. And this is what we did. We nice. shipped it from Basel, Switzerland is on the river, the Rhine. And they have a port, oh, wow. so it went from Basel to Hanover, and from Hanover to Buenos Aires in South America. Oh wow! Seven and a half a year ago. Many adventures, such a trip. Yes. Yep. Every day is an adventure. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, sometime, sometime it can be even boring, but uh, in between of the beautiful spots of this planet can be miles and miles to drive. And then you come to a mountain, to, to a beach or to something which excites you and you stay a while. Yes. That's yes. why we needed seven and a half an year from down there up to here. We could not do that in two years or something like that. Yes, that is amazing. There's too many cultures, ancient cultures. Mexico alone has about 80, 90 different cultures. Wow. From the old people, the, the old, uh, before the white man. One of the best rewards of selling bears is not always the money. It's when you meet people like this, a purest being with knowledge from another part of the world. I really enjoy these history lessons taught by complete strangers. Strangers that seem so familiar that I can't help but wonder if we were friends in a more ancient time. But me and Paul are very different people. He does not believe in taking the life of an animal or fish for food. I respect that. He has no use for computers, cameras, or advanced technology. But one thing we do share in common, the woman is the boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, I met him. He feel like... Yeah, I bring these back. You kind of got in trouble there by the wife for talking into my camera. Yep. Oh, okay. Hey, brother. It's nice to talk to you, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah, you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank yeah. you. She pulled Great him life. away yeah. like a grizzly yeah. stealing care, a fish. Brother. See you in yep. another thousand years, Paul. Couple more left. Man, that was a nice guy. I love him. 70 years old. One of the most beautiful people on the planet he was. This one's for you, Paul. Sorry, teddy bear. We're gonna let this one go. The one that was just sold is going to Paris. Got one left. There's no charge on this one. Hey, buddy. Can you get a picture? Nope. Here, Here you go, buddy. Here's your bear. What? There's your bear, little man. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's for you, little guy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, partner. <laughs> Bye-bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, what a sweetheart. 
Yeah. Oh, give me five. Give me five. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. All right. Mission accomplished. It's been a great day so far. Now we're going to Homer. We're going to get some chicken food. Some gas. Yeah. I love Homer. Best town on earth. We're almost home, but I had to stop and show you these little fellows. Aren't they beautiful? She don't like me. I don't blame her. Now there's some salmon running through here, so that's our dinner. <laughs>